also Big Lock by Robert Plant. This is from his 1983 album, The Principle of Moments. And uh, it's such a great song and such an awesome guitar part. And it was played by a guy called Robbie Blunt. And he was with Robert Plant from 1982 when he first started his a debut album, Pictures at Eleven, and Shaken and Stirred, 1985. And of course, this one, The Principle of Moments, 1983. And, you know, he's just a really good guitar player, very creative. And if you see videos of him playing this... You know, he's doing it all with his fingers, right? When I did my demo, I did a combination of hybrid picking... Like that. And... You know, just flat pick and you know just using my fingers for the solo type stuff right so my version is like a combination flat pick hybrid pick and fingers anyways let's get into it we're in the key of a minor here although the first chord is an a minor seven and we're going to start out with this lick All right, really, really nice. So all we're doing is, it's like an F chord, and we're gonna go, right? F, slide up to the A on the uh, fifth fret of the E string. C, D, three, five. Open. Now you could go, get the, um, the open D there. And that would really, really come in handy when you do that last one that's fast. And, you know, most people would think that this is just one guitar, but I am pretty sure, positive actually, that these parts were broken up. So, you know, one guitar was going... And the other guitar was... Like that, just to you know, separate the parts and give it more uh, resonance. But you can easily play this by yourself, no problem at all. Okay, so that's the beginning. Now we're going to go right into the solo, and that's going to go like this. So we're in A minor, and think of that. We're going to start up there, fifth to the root, A7, uh, D7, which is the B note. Slide up to G7. Slide up to G9. Now I changed my fingers to the third finger there. And now we're going to go... And on that particular note, I'm actually grabbing that string with my first finger and my thumb. And I'm pulling it out, right? And you can get the tab for this. You know, I'm going to go over it fairly specifically, but if you want every single note, getting the tabs your best bet. All right, so <laughs> where was I? That's <laughs> such a cool lick. So we're going to do a half step bend on uh, G6. And then the C note, the B note, slide down to the A note, and then open, and then two. So a little trill on G4, open G, back to uh, G2. Now we're going to do this. I just love that. So 
we're just going to bar here on the fifth fret. And I go down up, I'm on my pick now, and then go to this form, G4, B3, slide down two frets. And hit the, just that note, the uh, G string. You get this F major 7, right, and just arpeggio it. And then we're going to go right back to the bridge here and backstroke E to D string. Okay, I just love that. So. And now we're going to go. And now this is getting into the part. This, this here is the part that will separate uh, <laughs> the easy from the hard. Because unless you can go at that speed cleanly, you're not going to be able to play this. So this is the part you're going to want to practice. So what we're doing there is we're doing a down up on the D string and the G string. And then it's like playing an A minor chord, a G chord, and an F chord. So the last one, we're just going to hit the F note. So it's... And I actually guess I get that with my second finger. So from here... That's so beautiful. So A minor, G, F, and then E minor. Now on my demo, I just hit that E minor from the G string, but I noticed later on that when he's playing it, he's getting the full E minor. I don't know maybe he does that with his first finger. Like that, right? Well, I just did that, because it would get the bass in there, so it doesn't really make that big difference. Now we're gonna do this lick <laughs> Great lick. I'm going to slide up to the B note on G4, upstroke the open E, and then pull off, open to D2. So from the F major 7. I guess I'm doing that all with my first finger. Now we're going to go, okay, which is it's similar to that, but it's different. So, right, we can't do it. We gotta, we've got to do that. It's like going E minor, D minor. So we've got the root and the minor third, root and the minor third. Ending on that C note. So between that and this, that's the trick of playing this song. I mean, if I were going to learn this today, knowing what I know now, I would just do this. I'll practice that like... <laughs> Place your slow, right, until you can get it perfect. So that chord, or that sequence... ends up on that D minor and it's just arpeggio and then back to the bridge for that and we're going to end the whole thing with uh, on the A minor and we can play that whole chord And we already know that, and it's just three long ones on the G and the B string. What is that? My love leads to the freeways. The lyrics in this are really uh, out there. In fact, the title, Big Log, is never in the song. <laughs> so who knows, right? 
So once we hit that A minor seven, you know, we're gonna do that. That's just a power chord, just two strings, the A string and the E string. It's like going from the G to the A minor. Just slide that up. So the freeways. And then we're gonna proceed this D minor with A, C, E. Little slide into that. Open G. It's like a A minor arpeggio, right? A minor third, fifth, and the G, so it's an A minor seven arpeggio, because we're on A minor seven. And we go to the D minor. We do that, but just down a string, right? Same as that. And now we're gonna do this. I just love that lick. Most everybody I see play this plays that lick wrong. They don't get the right notes. So it's it's like we're on a D minor though, right? So we've got the fifth, the root, the minor third, the F. And then we're gonna pull off to the open G, right? So root, or sorry, <laughs> fifth, root, minor third, fifth, pulling off to the G because that's the next chord we're gonna play. And now we're gonna go. <laughs> so good. And I'm gonna hybrid pick that, right? So I've got my second finger and third finger on the B and the E string. Kind of all bouncing off that G. And then we're back. <laughs> that's such a great part too. So that's. Open A, the B string, G, two, G open. Let it ring. And then the B string and the E string. And slide it up two, and just give it a shot there, right? And, and then we're back into the second verse, which is exactly the same. But let's uh, not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's play that whole, um, let's play from the beginning. Okay, so now we're into the second verse, and that just goes along. Until we get to here. Right, so. Now we're going to play that chord we've played before. And we're just going to, I've got my pick on the D string, second and third on B and E. So. just arpeggiating that so okay and now we're gonna play this chord <laughs> such a great chord now you'll see a lot of guys play it down there and you can play it there you're just barring on the first fret from the D string and arpeggiating it but I noticed that Robbie Blunt plays it up here and what chord is that well I think of that as 
thinking of it as a yeah, G sharp six. You, you could easily call it that. You could call a lot of other things too, but that's what I'm thinking of. So what I'm doing there is take your A minor shape and just move it down a string and put your little finger here on yeah, B6. So arpeggio up, arpeggio back down, ending on the D string. Now we're gonna play this, this is like a, a C sharp major seven, but only we can take a little finger off, so it's like a C sharp major nine. And same arpeggio, right? And the next chord is, so we've got, it's like a C seven, and then we're gonna raise that third to a fourth, so that's gonna be C seven sus four and the exact same arpeggio, so. Now we go to this F. Back here. Back to the F. <laughs> Back to the C7 sus4, and we, we appreciate that. Back to the F. And then we just play that entire chord from the A string, right? We already know that. And we're just going to... That again. that too and then we're back that's the full cycle okay so that's it <laughs> that's the whole song there's a couple little variations on the lead so the second time to the lead all the same so instead of it going Where you're going to cut it short and going to go. So, right, that's uh, D3, open G, and the B string on one. And then we're back into that. All right. And so that's the sort of second time around variation. The last time he does the solo, he's going to go. It's all the same. On the G string. We go through that whole thing. And here he's going to go. So we just a bend on G2, upstroke on the B and E, and then you could go. But I think he's going. So from here, two, three. Okay, so those are just a couple little variations on the solo. So that's it for this one. Just a fantastic uh, little piece of music and great, great guitar playing by Robbie Blunt. Um, just really love the sound, the feel, the parts, uh, the intelligence of it too, you know, with all those arpeggios and uh, 
just really, really great. Really good musician. Anyways, I hope you get something out of it. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing it, and we'll talk to you next time. Oh, 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 o